Mike O'Mara, Radio Entertainment. You can listen to The Mike O'Mara Show at MikeO'MaraShow.com. Let's get started. It's The Mike O'Mara Show with Mike O'Mara, Oscar Santana, and Rob Spiewak. Now, here's Mike. Hi. Uh, oh, hello. You know, it's funny. Hi, Mike. The way this show works Hi, is we, we have a... I, I prepare some items for a uh, discussion then I meet with the guys and they give me some items for discussion and then we write them down as a kind of an outline for the show I've talked about that before and then we go on that's a little peek behind the curtain the way mm-hmm. it works and then more often than not more more t- uh, at least two to three times a week I will something will blast into my head that I've completely uh, forgotten and I don't know what jogs it that's what I'd love to know I'd love to know what is said. That may, and it might even be the fact that we do a little the slate clap at the beginning of the you show. You mean it's Not a that clap, we slate it's, it. th- it's that recent? Like after it the is, slate? Th- yeah, absolutely. That that recent. That's crazy. And uh, we have a we have a lot to uh, to talk about on today's show. But I have to share this with you: the videos that I'm watching right now that I am fascinated by. Has anyone <laughs> uh, seen what is referred to as the ring dinger? Oh, I don't know the ring dinger. Okay. Isn't it, it's like a ho-ho, isn't it? No, the ring dinger is a uh, chiropractor uh, and a series of chiropractors. They're all over the place because these videos are very popular. Go figure. That um, And, Oscar, I thought of you because of your uh, back issues. And, you uh, you know, we've all been to the chiropractor. Sure. And we've all uh, had good uh, experiences mm-hmm. and uh, bad experiences. The worst one for me is when uh, we used to go. Do you happen to remember the name of the uh, chiropractor across from WJFK who did the what would I call the festival seating chiropractic, where I everybody got to watch everybody name, get adjusted? Uh, but I do it, remember him. He was bad. Yeah, it, was, was like, no, was, it wasn't bad. He wasn't a bad chiropractor. But no, but the, the, the setup was bad. Office, yeah, the setup was terrible because I don't want to watch somebody. I want to go into a room. Yes, and get an adjustment, or at least uh, like my guy down here, go behind a partition and have a modicum of privacy. He had one, two, three tables set up in a room. Uh, yeah, it's a chop then, shop. Was and, this and the was, guy that also was a real big karaoke guy and had pictures of himself? May have been. Yeah, I he had really pictures of himself in like a Neil him. Diamond glass shirt. Yeah, he was kind of slick. Yeah, he was a he slicky was kind boy. kind of a slicky boy. And he was a and good chiropractor, but I, you're right, the setup was bad. That's right. The worst experience I had had nothing to do with him. It had to do with his setup where uh, I walk in and they would give you, they had four tables uh, in the back room where they would treat you with uh, the electro stem. electric stimulation, where yeah. they put mm. the little electrodes down on your back and it pulses. And yeah, that's that, what I that's get what now. The, that's yeah. what they would do first. And then you would go out into the main room where there were three, maybe four, chiropractic tables set up, and he would go right down the line and do that. So after work, go to the chiropractor in the evening, had evening hours, it was fantastic, and I hear across the lady that's getting the electric stimulation on her spine, I hear this. Oh. You know when people have a cold and they... They're fighting it, yeah. They sniff the snot. Yeah. Just continuously, mm-hmm. as opposed to having a handkerchief or Kleenex of some kind, which, you know, hygienic people would, would use. Of course. They go, we may have worked with somebody that did that. Yeah. That drives Constantly. me nuts. Yep. It is mm-hmm. absolutely, uh, when, when anyone does it, you know, that's what Kleenex is for. Get yeah. it out of there. Stop sucking it back in That's your That's what butt. you're supposed so, to do. Yeah. I am listening to this. They put me on the electric stimulation for 20 minutes, and I'm listening to it for 20 minutes, and I hear, <sighs> then Ugh. he goes out, and I'm behind uh, in the schedule with this uh, this lady who, <laughs> who's the celebrity she most resembled? Uh, probably Adele. Okay. And, uh, and she's... <sighs> Uh, and then I bet, I watch I bet Adele is a sniffer. He gives uh, he gives her an adjustment, and then he walks over and he takes his fingers and he's going like this. Oh God, yes! And, and he said, "This ought to help a little bit." And she's going, "Oh yes," <sighs> with the mouth just agape, with her 
stomach. You are bringing back so many, 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 <sighs> many memories of this guy because he would do like showbiz things. Like, did he? Yeah. Al- he always cracked your wrist. Yeah. Even though yeah. you didn't need yeah. it, no, it was it. like a party trick for him. And I like the the chiropractor videos that are out there. If that's what you're alluding to. Uh, yeah, I'll tell you about those in a second. There. Yeah. He rubs this, then he goes over and washes his hands, which I'm watching him That's like a That's very hawk nice. Because I know I'm next. Yeah. And then two days later, I got one of the worst horrible colds I've gotten in my entire life. It was horrible, and it was that pig yep. that uh, gave me the, the, uh, the cold. The pig so, got you sick. Got me yeah. sick because, and it can be, it doesn't matter, it, it, it can be anybody like that that doesn't practice good hygiene. So, these videos are, you, a, a chiropractor puts somebody on the table, Yes. And then on either side, right at your waist, there are two uh, padded metal posts that he wedges into your waist really tight, Mm -hmm. really tight to secure your waist. He then goes over. He takes a long towel. He wraps it around your neck and he pulls and you hear what is. And it is the and people go. Ah. (laughs) <laughs> Sometimes, a lot of times they laugh afterwards. Yeah, yeah. And it's called, Oscar, it's called the Ring Dinger. I'm looking for it now. Uh, I'm looking for it now. Chiropractic Adjustment. Yeah. And it is spectacular. And uh, Mac, if you Mac, can you find it. Mac, you'll look it up it, on, uh, on TikTok if you don't mind. Yeah. It might be Absolutely. on TikTok. It could be on YouTube. It's definitely on YouTube. And it is the Ring Dinger. And I thought of that. Yeah, I got it. This is terrifying. So spe- this is so terrifying. And yeah, if you uh, look it up, it'll come right up, Mac, on TikTok. Yeah, it's very, very cool. You love it. Cool. Um, there's, a, there's a Dreamboat chiropractor on my feed, Mike. I don't know mm-hmm. if you see him. He exclusively works on famous guys and really attractive Hollywood moms. Okay. Um, and he's in Beverly Hills because I wanted to eyeball what this guy's world is about. Sure. Beverly Hills. <laughs> and he puts little microphones right next to where he's adjusting. And oh, that's weird because I, I bet there are some people who really dig the sound of the cracking. Hi, my name is Oscar. I'm there for like at least half an hour watching these people. Everybody get likes racked. them. They're, they're yeah. wildly popular. Yes. And they're incredible to watch. They really are. It's fascinating. Because, I'm finding uh, him now as Mac is finding your ring dinger. Did, ring you have the, dinger. did you ever have the ring dinger done to you? No, I had. Well, I, now it's spinal decompression. Basically, okay. these are all forms of spinal decompression. By the way, I've had back problems my whole life, and I can tell you, you can achieve certain levels of spinal decompression by getting a yoga ball, an exercise ball, mm-hmm. and tractioning your back over it, or even like uh, going on the bed. And maybe if you want to try that, I don't recommend it. Uh, of doing it. okay, we've got the uh, we've got the ring dinger. Mm-hmm. Uh, Max got it standing by. Let's uh, let's see. Is that has that guy got a ball cap on? Yes, yeah, that's the ring dinger guy. Well, let's see what happens. There's many with... ring dinger guys. Yeah, there are lots of ring dinger guys. All right, roll it. Oh, my God. That's not good. All right. Can you find... Okay. You found the chiropractor that seriously looks like he just got off an 18-wheeler. He looks like he came out of the set of Pee Wee's Big Adventure. Mike, let's that's... find another guy, another Mike, video. That's Larry the chiropractor guy that he found. And it, this, it, I, it's just like Dr. Pimp, you know, in a way... Dr. Pimple Popper, where, you know, yeah, it's just, I can see this that. I find this more acceptable. I find this more Do you ever watch the cow hooves that are, uh, yes, I've that watched are, that. that are, mm-hmm. you know, what infected. are the cow hooves? So the guy takes, uh, uh the hooves are, are very, very, uh, dense and can be peeled like you oh, would, uh, I've seen like you would that. peel, peel off a fingernail. It's fingernail material, but it's this thick and he will have an infection underneath the nail, mm-hmm. which oh, is the man. hoof, the yeah. hoof. And he will uh, peel away until he gets to that, and sometimes it bursts Ugh. and goo pours Ugh. out. Mac, I just emailed you the. I'm not calling him the Zodiac Killer chiropractor, but there's something <laughs> going on with this guy that he he's got the Scott Peterson vibe, but he's probably a good doctor. So I I don't know. Thank if that's you for good, the save at the end. I don't Oscar. know if that's a good disclaimer. <laughs> Do you know what I mean with Scott Peterson? Does yeah, it, yeah. Is it so relevant these days? Yeah, it is. It is. Yeah. For you kids the, out there, the Scott Peterson murderer. has killed two of his wives. And is free? Is he free or is he in jail now? Oh, is that the cop? Scott I Peterson, think, former I think cop. He's in jail now. He's there's a slicky now. boy, good looking guy, and then yeah. there's the cop that was a psychopath as well. Mm, I don't you know? think this was the cop. This was slicky boy, good looking. Like he probably was in sales somewhere. 
somewhere in sales. Yeah, at w- this, right, this guy, yeah, this guy, yeah, watch this going to be watch the whole guy. thing here? Yeah, okay. turn, turn, turn up. This, this, this is the guy. <laughs> oh, God. He's adjusting. Is that your knee in my bag? That's my knee. <laughs> oh, my God. I didn't know Very attractive know that. <laughs> blonde lady. You feel all that stuff? That's all of that well Oh. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, this creep. I just, He's uh, painting too much. <sighs> Wait for it. Okay, we're just going to do like a, a little bit like right lower neck right here he's Little. not using it oh you yeah. yeah. get the towel oh my God. Oh. wow because <laughs> it's there oh. see it wasn't that bad okay so, uh, it's nuts so right next to her head i could watch these oh, you are mm-hmm. so much fun this is her this is her go-to this, right on don't don't screw it up that's all i have going oh, yeah, for that's me that's true this is all he's you doing it differently than the ones i see we don't mess this up oh god listen I don't even know what's about to crack. I don't know either. You're back. <laughs> Relax. Oh. There it goes. He's oh. such a creep. Oh, wow. oh my God. Right? Guys that talk like Could you that. imagine if your yeah. wife went to see like guy like this? Yeah. I'd file for divorce. Yeah. 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 Look at her. Let's see if her low back has some Look, I'm sure that he needs to do that. Oh there it goes. God. That was a lot. Oh my God. Look, she's just giggling. Bit. Yeah, she's oh. I'm so jealous of this guy. She's yeah. achieving. No, I don't know. I'm Stop. Sorry. Well, she's That's achieving comfort is what she is. Yeah. He gets, he gets well. the towel out. He gets the towel out. Oh, here we go. <laughs> well, that, now that's it for work. Right. What was that? that was so many yeah. cracks. He's right. a creep. Mac, a lot if of them you are. find one where, if you find one where they put them between two, by the way, Oscar's between two pillows, right. <laughs> they, they put them between two posts, and he okay. locks them in, and then he just—I mean, the sound he is yanks amazing. on them. Oscar's yeah. absolutely right. There are hundreds of these. Out yeah. there, because people apparently love the satisfaction. Probably people that would be weirded out by an adjustment. And yeah. by the way, the neck adjustment is always, to me, the most. Uh, I've only had it done once, yeah. and you know, I felt great. But I've just, I've only been to a chiropractor once right. in my life. Yeah. It's all been like physical therapy, or because, I, and not, and not because I don't disrespect the craft. It's just I think what I felt like was. A piece of like a pastry on a like a pastry line. It's like you jump from from station to station to station to station. I'm like, when do I see the doctor? Yeah. Well, it is. It's yeah. about making money. It's what it is. It is a I'm getting I mean, frosting. The, like the I've been first baked, thing they will Matt, Can I ask you a question? Mac? Sure. Yeah. Are you looking for videos right yeah, now? Yeah, I got I got another one here. Okay, go, oh, here we go. go ahead and pull up. Okay. You have yeah. carte blanche. Now okay. that's the position right there. Yeah. Where the person is in. The legs are raised, uh, up uh, almost in a seated position, up down, mm-hmm. up up top. Let's not let's all tables have up. bars on the side. Not all tables have the bars, yes. also, but the ones that do, <laughs> that gives you the the maximum. Go ahead and roll it, Mac. Her parents brought her. She doesn't know this what a ring dinger thing. is. Okay, very good, very good. Oh my God! Oh my God! Oh my God! Okay, okay. <laughs> there oh we my go. God. Yeah. And it really looks like immediately. And he's, and he's a creep, too. Is he a creep, too? Well, I mean, right. obviously, he's, okay, very right. good. We've got yeah. the towel. It's and right. not telling someone what you're going to do is wrong. It's Oscar, here's your Scott Peterson right here. Yeah, that's the guy. And okay, he was, that's the and he that was convicted. Two wives. Yeah, he, was he didn't kill two wives. The, the, the cop killed, killed two Lacey. wives. Yeah, he killed Lacey. He killed Lacey. Lacey, Lacey yeah. Peterson. Horrible, horrible situation. Out there in uh, Northern California, if I'm not mistaken. Isn't one right. just as bad as two? Uh, any three is, is the threshold is of really evil. Any okay. is uh, is is horrible. So the ring dinger, check it out. I have no. I was going to talk. Why about is it something. called that? I don't. I don't understand the name. It's is a it? ring dinger of an adjustment, yeah. is what it is. You know, uh, it rings they, your bell. We've got. I've been. Towel. I've been pain free for a long time. Yeah, sort of pain free. Uh, yeah. in my back. Well, you so lost all that weight it. somehow. That, that might have something to do with it. That Makes might absolutely have yeah. something uh, you get to do with it. Skinny and less weight so. on your spine. That's it. I think perhaps that is. Uh, <laughs> that is the Dormglowskin.com. <laughs> We're gonna do it. We have a commercial in the first break, so there's really no need. But thank I you. Was, I was. I was. I was. I was. Shannon's like. Shannon said, "How do you sell this this service?" I said, "I I've got the best subject in the world." I say. Michael Mara, 
how many sit-ups have you done? And then Mike says, 0.0. And then uh, then he go, we go, how many push-ups have you done? And Mike says, 0.0. Uh, Rob, can I ask you a question? Do you yeah, remember sure. when I owned a restaurant? And, I do. Uh, it was called and, O'Mara's. And the, 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 the guy that I worked with would always uh, make a reference to a television show where having a look-around cafe was kind of a That guy yes. was a uh, hater. Hold on, hold I am on, loving hold you. Hold on just a second. And uh, any time it would come up, uh, there would be that comment made. Yes. So uh, the uh, when I talk about my weight loss now, yes. uh, our distinguished uh, friend from uh, Bolivia will always I, reference the fact that I haven't done any appreciable yeah, but, exercise. But my, and I see, the thing I see is, the, yeah. he's right. I'm oh, well, it's an effective sale. It's a <laughs> shut. Yeah, but you know up. what. Mike yes. wants to be the after picture, not the before. And you're selling him as, you know, you keep bringing he up the before. He is the after. Look, but you keep bringing up before. You're seeing the after really right now. You're the before. I really don't want to go down You got to get road. you on it. I really, really do. I'm now, not a poor... now, that you're, now that you're at home, I can't monitor your waistline. Who's going to do it for you? Oscar, I'm not a poor guy. I'm a fine guy. Do you I'm find, a uh, now that you're at home, that you are... Uh, uh, less motivated or perhaps uh, self-discipline with food is a little more difficult. No, self-discipline is fine. You know, what you don't know is I am still down 55 pounds from when I started this journey. But you were like 450. That's not a lot. <laughs> no, I was not at 450, Oscar. 450. You're making playing fast and loose with the facts there. I'm sorry. I was at 315 when I had my liver failure, and I'm yeah. now at 260. Okay. Good for you. And you know yeah. what? For Good me, for that's you. not bad. And but you, know, you were like at 180 at one point. Yeah, I was down to 92 pounds when I yeah. came back. And uh, waif like it was so, so waif like. Very, very. And I'll get there uh, again. I'll get there again. Very, very excited. Um, I have a question for both of you, gentlemen. Yes. Uh, is any? Mm -hmm. Is it just me? Rob would. Rob was always talking uh, about how. Uh, he wasn't into Halloween anymore because his right, kids were right. grown and he just didn't want to mm -hmm. do it. It wasn't worth it. I am, even though I have a daughter coming down here, I'm feeling, uh, and I think we've done a lot of shows and we've really done balls to the wall shows. Here. Yeah, an adequate an, amount. An mm -hmm. adequate amount. But I, I Oh, truly, by the way, week of Thanksgiving? A technical we'll talk note? about it off We'll talk about no, it off air. Off air. Off, off air. air. We're, we are off air week of Thanksgiving. Okay. The whole uh, week. I, I, I thought you were going to make a change, so I, no. I'm glad to hear that. The whole I, week, people. We that, deserve good. it. My son's yes. off the whole week, which will be good. Uh, my son, that. too. Yeah, be good. Um, but, my three sons. But the, the point I was trying to make, I don't have the, uh, the same zeal, and maybe it's because my daughter's not coming from Los Angeles, but I... Uh, I don't know. I think it just it seems like do... it's arrived quickly, and it's early. I haven't is... paid attention to it. It's almost as early as it can be this year, because it's now, you know, it used to be the last Thursday in November, quick history lesson, and then to bolster sales, President Roosevelt in the early 40s moved it to the fourth Thursday, mm. which made it happen earlier Extend for a longer, the an, a longer Christmas shopping season. Okay. This year, Thanksgiving falls on the 23rd. That's about as early as it can fall. Okay. Right. And I think that has something to do with it. Um, it Seems like we had Halloween an hour later. We're having Thanksgiving, and yeah. also that you know what happens is they rush Christmas and they 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 totally disregard Thanksgiving. I mean, I was doing uh, errands. I was doing errands on Sunday, and every store had Christmas music. Yeah, I mean, we put up our tree right after Thanksgiving, right after Halloween, right? Yeah, but, so that, but I know that's still, early. I know you don't like it. I get it. I they're get rushing it. it, and they're they're putting you know they're putting Thanksgiving aside. Times a fleeting. I know time is a fleeting, and they'll start on December first. Do you all have your turkeys? I bought my turkey yesterday. Mike. I I do not. I See, do not once you get your turkey, you you you. That's when the you, you get going. That's when you're in the mindset of like what goes with and what goes without. And you also have, you have a child, right? So a child, you have two children coming to your house. My, uh, Rob, how many? Two, three. Oh, I'll have two, and I think my cousins are going to come, too, and my mom. Great. So, we'll so you got a, a full family, right? got a full family, yeah. I got my brother coming in, uh, flying in, week of Thanksgiving. You guys uh, are into his it. his wife. Yeah, so yeah. we're into this. We're yeah. into this. I don't know what's wrong. I don't know. Maybe, well, maybe go buy your Tom Turkey, and that may be your uh, that might I think be it might your... be a malaise. That I'm do a Popeyes a, Popeyes turkey, yeah, like the deep fried turkey. Well, you can pick it no, up. No, 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 no. My, my daughter, Frozen. my daughter comes from uh, Virginia, and she makes the turkey every year, and she does, yeah, it. She does it perfect. That's right. Once yeah. Connor's there, you know, maybe he'll he'll throw a few thank yous your way this year. Sure. And... 
And He'll make, make his uh, world famous Connor you, Yam the right. universe. Let me tell you, I know when Oscar's ultra prepared for a show because his memory banks I'm up, baby. Are I'm up. Charged today. They are charged today. Anyway, it's next there week. There once was a boy named Connor. Uh, he didn't yeah, know right. how to say thank you. Uh, stop. God, you're going to kill not, me. That was not even in the limerick form. You can't stop do that. It. There once was a man from Nantucket. That's <laughs> See, there you go. Can I tell that limerick if I leave out the bad part? Yeah. How do you leave it uh, out? I just pause. All right. Okay. All right. And I'll do, um, yeah. Rob, can you do your yeah. voice? Yeah. You know? yeah. There once was a yeah. from Nantucket whose yeah. was so long he could suck it. Ooh. He said with a grin as he wiped off his chin, if my ear was a yeah. I could yeah. it. That's right. I don't know why I feel gross. Because <laughs> it is gross. Yeah, if you send me a gross a, limerick. If you send me a self-addressed stamped envelope, I'll send you all the words that I believe. The Mad Libs? Yes, the Mad Libs version. Thank you. Yeah, it's, There uh, once was a man nasty. named Connor who served his family with honor. How about Ooh, that? That is right. great. Yeah. That subject is now closed. Smart. Right. I have the family coming in. That subject they is officially... They don't listen. The, the, it is officially Have you discussed closed. side dishes? Uh, no. No. Got really. a text out of the blue from my son yesterday. I really... Says, um, I, I have to say this. I was on, I'm at my uh, lowest today, and I really... Uh, I'm going to... I'm going to get through the holiday, but I just mm -hmm. don't want this to be. This used to be, for me, uh, a time where the whole week I would start ramping up and throwing yeah. caution to the wind. I'm not going to do that again. You know, I'm paying too much money uh, to, you know, achieve what I've achieved, and every nickel has been worth it. But I, I want to make sure that I am not, uh, that I'm not going I'm, bad. I'm the, trying to remember, which is the day you take your shot in the week? Tuesday. Okay, so it'll still be in full force on That's Thursday. That's different now. I do that now, and you'll hear okay, about yeah. it in a second. Yeah. Anyway, so we'll uh, we'll see. I just I was curious about it because all I am seeing on mm -hmm. local news, and we will have a report in the roundtable about it, is this traffic, 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 mm -hmm. and I, it always gets me to a point where I begin to think about how we holiday in uh, in the United States and how we, you know, we're a hardworking people. Uh, Can, by and large, and then we yeah. we we end up doing things at the exact same time, and I've always found that to be a little odd. Now I know the can, holiday can, is it. Yes, go ahead. Can I, I'm sorry. Can I can I just give you just one inkling of the, a palate cleanser, if you don't mind, for yeah. the holidays? Sure. I have the six year old coming to my house, and it was just Luca's birthday, who just turned eighteen. Luca's eighteen years God, old, right? Can't Isn't believe that it. Wild. Yeah. I mean. I hear that, and it yeah. makes me think the clock is going. So for sent, people that have the uh, road trip video, Luca is in the. Uh, he's a little baby. He's like a little kid when we yeah. were in Pittsburgh at the Hofbrau house. I'm yeah. going to play this this little voicemail from a six year old to his older cousin. Okay. To his his mom's. Uh, mm -hmm. Here we go. You're the best tati oh, in hold the on world. So, sorry. <laughs> Work a phone. There Happy you go. Birthday. Is that Luca? That is Sebastian. That's his Sebastian. Six, wishing happy birthday nephew, to Luca. Wishing his 18-year-old cousin a happy birthday. And Sebastian is how old now? Six. God, it's I like, know. I don't know why. We don't think about his uh, relatives that often, and you don't realize how fast that clock on the it's wall a rocket, is. Rocket He's show. 18, Luca. I mean, he can I smoke sitting, cigarettes now. Yes. I was sitting with my older friends yesterday who are mostly granddads, and they were yeah. talking about their grandchildren, and I was saying to myself, I am, you know, I'm getting pretty due here in a yeah. second. I got to see what's uh, what's going to be happening. You know, you got to get married first. That's, uh, That's the law, it. isn't it? I didn't think I'd be that guy that would be kind of leaning in that direction with family get-togethers. And I don't want to go over the top about it, but I'm kind of going to go, okay, how long How long are you planning on, uh, you know, when do you want to be an adult? Let me ask you that question. <laughs> when do you want to be an adult? 
Uh, is it this year, next year, the year after? When do you really want to be? How about it, kids? How about it? You know, do you how define about being an on? adult by getting married? I define being an adult by getting married, getting an apartment, getting a condo, and, uh, <laughs> you know, and moving forward with your life, as I did when I was 25 years old. Mm-hmm. Probably 24. I'm sorry. Check that. 24 years old. Right. But you 24. left home at what age? 18. I never went back home. Yeah, so you technically yeah. left at eighteen. Well, I went to college at eighteen, and then yeah, uh, but then but I that ca- the I mean, that, if you didn't go back, that that's I, mean, I never went talk- back after college graduation. I, yeah. I never did. I, you I know why? Back. Can I tell you why I never yeah. did? Yeah, it was made relatively clear to me that you know the uh, Chateau Relaxo was closed. <laughs> After that, <laughs> which I, I know nowadays saying. there's more, you know, that's why the uh, Tommy DeVito uh, quarterback <laughs> for the the hapless. I love that word. The hapless New York Giants. That's why that was mentioned yesterday in right. living at home, because it's a thing for yeah. a lot of. kids. So if now. you were Mike, you were fully employed at age 26 and you went home. Your mom wouldn't do your laundry and prepare you chicken cutlets. Uh, no, I didn't get that. I, I really didn't. You didn't I, move uh, back at age 30 and uh, then broadcast no. from your house no. like you were a teenager no. and call your parents your roommates, roommates for yeah. roughly uh, 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 18 months while you were on there? <laughs> no. I, the only thing my mom did consistently throughout my adult years, she would send after college. Her brownies were so popular with the uh, masses at American University Great that recipe. she would still send those to me on a semi-regular basis because I reminded her of it, you know. Mm -hmm. And I had a great relationship. And my uh, my mom and dad also uh, helped me with the down payment for my first house. Would anyone like to guess what that first house cost? I uh, yes. very first house um, that I signed. Inflation. You just gotten married. This was across the bridge. Was this in? This is across the Stevensville, the, the Maryland, right? across the bridge. Yes, in, yes, on yes. What is referred to the eastern shore of Mike, Maryland. Okay, carry the one. What's this that? Is, I'll say sixty-eight thousand. I'm going to say forty-five thousand dollars. You're both very good. You're right in the. You, I, you split the difference. It's, it was fifty-four thousand dollars. Yeah. And when wow. I signed, when I signed the down payment. My hand was trembling a little bit. Can't buy bit a car for that term. much these days. You can't. Jesus it's Christ. crazy. It's a it's a crazy world uh, right, that we live in. So, uh, that, <laughs> right, Mac. Yeah, I know it. What it's are so you, sad. You, you know, you okay today, pal? <laughs> yeah, I just was thinking about how much I paid for my condo. Yeah, well, technically, you you know your grandparents paid for it. My grandparents didn't pay a little bit of my condo. They, I love the hostility. No, I think your parents helped passed. on the condo, right? Yeah, my yeah. parents helped, not my grandparents. You know what yeah, you need the, to do today, Mac? You need to go out and get yourself a ring dinger. <laughs> <laughs> With a hot chiropractor. Yeah. Hot male chiropractor. Yeah, yeah there you go. There you go. Yeah, nah, yeah, you're giving me a little more of that in our life. Yeah. Spice it up. Now we're, we're talking. Like, here we go. That's Let him whisper in your ear. Well, I will make, I will make every effort. I will make every effort to uh, be Thanksgiving positive. As, uh, yeah, bring, you got to bring the spirit, Mike. Yeah, we talk I, about that I will all tell the time. you, Oscar, here's the difference. It's the eating. It's the eating. I can't celebrate you need, no, eating. You can, you can, you can transfer I celebrate because... what happened to me this morning where I skipped two days of weigh-ins mm. because I was uh, out partying, having a little right. lasagna, ba da ba da ba and then I kind of worked my ass off on uh, Sunday doing a lot of physical stuff around the house, and then – uh, yesterday, kind of a normal day where I spent a little extra time at Happy Valley uh, yeah. in the heat. And I'm, I'm going to tell you, it's, there's no feeling like seeing that number uh, be uh, the, you know, the new low. That's you got a, find, you got a two that, in front of it? When I see uh, that. What's that? You got a two in front of your number? No, brother. I don't have a two in front of it. I'm, I'm well Ooh. aware of that, uh, that number coming. But I hopefully will have a two at, uh, at some point. And uh, right now. No, I think Oscar, I think you misinterpreted Oscar's question. He wanted what? to know if you were still in the 200s. Uh, yeah, yeah, of course. But yeah. you're close to getting out, My right? goal weight will have a two in front of it. You look so skinny. You my do. goal you weight, but you know my goal weight will have a two two in front of it. Yeah, but like 210, right? Uh, 225. Yeah, like you know, yeah. that's in the brain. And then, I, and then I'll reevaluate at that point. Yeah. yeah it might be my, my, I never thought I'd say that. I never thought I'd be in that world. So anyway, uh, Thanksgiving, Mike, I promise I'll be positive the rest of the week. Yes, sir. What you need to change your focus, it's not going to be about eating food. You love to cook, mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. you can put your, uh, put your enthusiasms in making food. 
And I may be affected. Enjoy. Last year, I may be affected. Last year was that good Giants season that we had. I may be right, affected right. by that. Oh, by the way, Monday Night Football, if you didn't get a chance. Oh, Jimmy, so sorry. Sad. So, Brutal. Do you so want to hear the uh, clip of the sad. end? Okay. Please. Uh, this is, uh, all right. Here's they a, had, here's uh, they, this they, is they, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Let me tell you what I love about Josh Allen of your Buffalo Bills. Okay. Josh Allen of your Buffalo Bills. Uh, throws caution to the wind. He throws downfield. The guy does not have fun a fear to watch. factor. He's yep. fun to watch. Fun to watch. And does he miss occasionally? Yeah. Does he get of intercepted? Course. Yeah. But he's balls to the wall, and I love watching it because it's rolling the dice all the time. So the game last night against the Denver Broncos, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, really kind of a uh, uh, a poorly played game on both sides of the Fun ball, to, to watch, though, for yeah. a Monday night. But fun Have to seen worse? As the uh, as the time was running out, it was twenty two twenty one. The Bills were winning, and mm-hmm. then there was a pass interference call that right. put the Broncos into field goal range. They just had to get this. Field and the uh, Buffalo Bills. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm hold sorry, on! Stop! 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 Forgive stop! Me. Sorry. And the Bills are are uh, leading by one point. Right. So a field goal wins it. Four seconds to go. And uh, <laughs> this is where football coaches look. Um, I, I respect them. The work mm-hmm. ethic is. Uh, but really, uh, on those sidelines, former players, guy, yeah. you got a few dumb guys there. You do. Yeah, That's you do. the bottom line. We so, can't all be Mensas. Uh, you can't all be Mensas. Somebody's got to do Not the that gladiator I'm... work. That's just the way it works. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Got all these guys on the sideline. The, uh, the, all the Denver Broncos have to do, I think it's like a 30-yard field goal. It's a yeah. short field goal. One field goal to win that, it. They kick that, and they win it. And uh, you, got the, you got both field goals? Okay, here's the first one. Lots. He missed it. Oh, no. The flag is down. What? Oh, hmm. on defense. Five-yard penalty. Let's pause it. Wow. Pause it. So, 12 men on the field. Yes. 12 Jesus men on the field. Pop crazy. effing Warner, you learn. Get the right amount of guys on the field. They missed the field goal. Buffalo wins. Yeah. Stoop, one of the dumbest penalties you can ever ever get and it's always on the coaches they put 12 men jimmy i'm so sorry yeah. let's go buffalo so denver gets to come back now and try a closer field goal yeah let's five, listen five to how that's closer went. wow Go down. and this will move the ball inside the 20 and it becomes a 36 yard game winning field goal attempt by will lux good snap good hold kick perfect and the Broncos have come to Buffalo, Pink. and they're going to leave with a win. That's that. That I'll tell in you, in Buffalo, very that good. culture, <laughs> that culture up in Buffalo, <laughs> that I love with that missed field goals and yeah. field goal, the whole field goal thing, yeah. they're snake bit when it comes to they uh, are to that. They are. Uh, so why are you putting the Washington sign up? He's doing what set decor. What, what, it's just uh, sometimes he just makes me laugh <laughs> being there. What the hell are you moving that? Now you can't. I'm trying to move that. some stuff around. Okay. Yeah, better. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing with that. Are you trying to seat it the proper Nobody way? Nobody cares. Yeah, there we go. There it is. Watch All right, hold on, better. Mike. Hold on. All right. Okay. All right, let me do Oh, this. please. <laughs> oh, you should have seen you should have seen Rob set before we got a hold of him. He looked like a serial killer. God damn it. Still do. No, Act you look like much a serial killer. You, you you your microphone collection is very impressive. Thank you kindly. I don't mean that uh, in a bad way. I really mean that. I'm well, just, how would it be a bad way? Well, you know, if I was being sarcastic, but I'm not. No, no, no. Who, now that's that your hole in one plaque. That's cool. Do you have a clipper? How are you? In front of you? you have a weird way of like totally under. I mean, you just observe everything. I didn't know you. Could you see that? Yes. I it's, can't. Yeah, yeah, it says hole in he one. God bless you. He knew. Yeah. No, I I read it. Right, hold on. Is that a real plaque or a novelty one? Yeah, it's from Spencer's. I mean, they make you a plaque at your club if you make a hole in one. They make plaques at lots of clubs. That is so classy. Yeah, I love it. Number sixteen. Number sixteen. That's, uh, that's how old Carla was. One hundred seventy-three right? yards. <laughs> Sixty. One hundred seventy-three yards. Yeah. Right. One do you still top. feel? Do you feel still feel excited when you play that hole because you knew you? You're you like you own that it hole. Once. Yeah, that you hole's yours. Um. I you came, made. I came very close. You made yeah. that hole your bitch. This is now really, that's never. Can you say that? I don't no, know if you can say that. No, you're really can. something for me. I'm very I love happy it. with this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Why isn't it hanging up somewhere prominent, like in the kitchen? <laughs> the kitchen. I like having it in here. 
Don't you tell people tell the, like that's where you put family pictures and stuff now? Well, I know I think that's the where kitchen. we have we have our Virgin Marys and our Jesus Christ and our family pictures in the kitchen. <laughs> All we have in the kitchen, I think, is a calendar. Look at that. <laughs> that's good. The kitchen is for eating, you jerk. It, is it yeah. on the uh, refrigerator magnet? Is yeah, it, it is. Yeah, I'd wa- we, it faces the family room, and we have some pictures in the family room. But there's nothing your house in the is super. Uh, the, Rob, look, I want to say Rob's. Everything he gives off is Leesburg trashy on the show. That's me. But his house at home is so well appointed. Well, that the backdrop is a monument to uh, obsessive compulsive disorder. It just. I was so. I was. I rarely get jelly belly. Like, aren't obsessive compulsive people? Aren't they usually? Well, I mean, totally it, it, neat. Some of it can be. I mean, then there's the obsessive compulsive people that like save newspapers. I'm not that guy. Do, no, but, well, it, but you're like a neat freak. I love it. Yeah, at neat home. freak and you're an a neat compulsive. hoarder. Yeah, I think that's yeah. it. Like, I think that there are a lot of hoarders that if you ask them about a particular item, they couldn't produce it. I know where everything is. You know, and he, you know, if someone touches it or moves yeah. it around, I was like, this. One guy. of the greatest pranks ever is you came to a Super Bowl party at my house once. And Carla said she moved one of my CDs. And because they're all alphabetical. Carla has, Carla and it, has and it the haunts you? It laser. Did. To, to, I, she has and a she gift. never did, but it she, was enough to make me she, look at them all. She yeah. gets it from her mother, mm-hmm. and they will find they will find the seam. The kryptonite. In yeah. a psychology, and they yeah. will go right for it. We had like 30 people here, and they're all drinking and eating, and we put out a lot of stuff. And I said, I, said, I, I got to go. She said, what? I said, I just got to check something. <laughs> I had her, yeah. And I went through, and she did. And here's the brilliance of it. She didn't move a CD. Right. She just she said didn't. she did. She just said she did. She's an evil <laughs> woman. Yeah, we'll talk about it. Hey, when we get the roundtable coming up, oh, including good, good, some good, good, great good. Thanksgiving fun, I'll do that voice uh, when we come back. Yeah, you, ladies and gentlemen, are listening to The Mike O'Bara Show. Uh, and then... Big story in the news. Biden's granddaughter, Secret Service. Mm. We're going to talk to Oscar about that later in the show, too. It's because, his uh, yeah, his neighborhood. Right up the street. Mm. Really, really mm. weird. But he's not a person of interest. Not at all. We'll be right back. Hey, listen. Do you want to lose 21% of your weight? That's right, 21%. I have lost over 65 pounds. And I am excited to share with you that DermGlowSkin.com is now your one-stop shop for finally getting control of your weight. All you have to do is click on the weight loss button at, or, or button at DermGlowSkin.com. Take the quiz and see if you qualify. A doctor will write you a prescription, the pharmacy will fill it, and your weight loss medication will be shipped directly to your house just like it's shipped to mine. These are the real weight loss products, semi-glutide and terzipatide, that you've heard so much about. And if you qualify, you can get them right now. When? Right now. (laughs) Dermglowskin.com is where you can get them. If you are already on it, do what I did. You can show the doctor your prescription and easily make the switch. I already did, and I am still losing weight. To date, over 65 pounds, as I mentioned before, but I thought I'd mention that again. Go ahead. Get excited, people, and do it all online right now at DermGlowSkin.com. If you've struggled with weight for too long, click the weight loss button and begin the best journey of your life by, uh, you know, being our proud partner. It'd be wonderful. I'm sorry. That was all run together. Oscar? Now may I give my sales pitch? Mm -hmm. Yes, go ahead. Please do. If your body's been ravaged by childbirth. Rob, can you fix that and resend it, please? Yes, of course. Thank you. DermGlowSkin.com. If your husband's given up and he doesn't look like your husband anymore, think DermGlowSkin.com. If you feel like one more sit-up is a sit-up too much, think DermGlowSkin.com. If you want to be happy when you walk in your closet and you want to put on your suit from 20 years ago, think DermGlowSkin.com. I'm, I'm done with this. We can uh, we can hit the thing now, please. Oh, look, okay. The, uh, there I didn't even mention you, Mike. Thank you. I thought I it was, that was thoughtful. That. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope proofs. Uh, much, much appreciated. The Kraken looks skinny today. He's very, th- that's Yeah, exciting. he's got some semi-glutide. All right, I'm done talking about it. We are uh, ready to uh, have the round table. The fire, I don't know if you were aware of this, the fire that forced the indefinite closure of the 10 out in L.A. in yeah. downtown Los Angeles was set intentionally. Oh no. no. Wow. And likely Charlie. and likely <laughs> He's smoking again. I'll do it. <laughs> uh, and likely arson. 
Uh, that's oh. according to Governor Gavin Newsom. Hi-oh! Citing the uh, investigation into the cause at a Monday afternoon presser. Uh, that was yesterday. Uh, there was no immediate information on a possible arson suspect or suspects, but Newsom said the fire was set within the fence line of the storage business operating below the freeway, which was littered with vehicles, pallets, and mm. other materials. I mean, ridiculous what it did. It paralyzed that city. Uh, Here's the quote from the governor. That determination of who is responsible is an investigation that is ongoing, and that's an investigation that can be aided by the people of the region, not just those that have been witnesses nearby, said Newsom. So sounds like maybe he's not specific as to whether this was a grudge that he had against the property owner there or whether somebody was thinking, would somebody be that premeditated where they'd know that setting a fire there would shut down the highway? I don't think so. I don't think it would be that sophisticated. Uh, I don't think we have to underestimate crazy these days. Yeah. Right? So I'd crazy. like to talk to I'd like to talk to Alec Baldwin. You'd like to talk to Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I think maybe, you know, now that he's uh shaken loose of that gun incident, he's probably off to other nefarious activities. I am God. <laughs> no, you're not. I am God. <laughs> do you like matches? I do. I'm going to go down to the warehouse underneath the highway, <laughs> under the town in Los Angeles, and I'm going to set it afire. Watch the flames paralyze the city. I am God. It's the only Alec Baldwin. Uh, uh, that's all I've got. I like you know? it, though. It's very nice. <laughs> very you nice. are a silly little girl. <laughs> when he gets his Long Island on, oh, he's yelling at Ireland. Right. That's right. Oh. Ireland. I like his other kids, too. Turkey, mm-hmm. Greece, and, uh, and Belgium. <laughs> All of his daughters, fantastic. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, here. buddy. Uh, you guys are Seinfeld fans, right? You like the show Seinfeld. Uh, can a San- Seinfeld revival or reunion exist without Elaine, Kramer, and George? Hmm. Uh, Jason Alexander is the latest to comment on Jerry Seinfeld's announcement last month about something happening. He says, "Quote: Good for Jerry. <laughs> I don't know anything about it. No one called me." Apparently, they don't need George, and they may not need Elaine, because Julia and I went, do you know anything about this? And we didn't. I just talked to Michael. That's Michael Richards, Kramer. Sure. And uh, I don't think he knew anything about it. So that's a, they're kind of digging yeah. at Jerry right there. How about yeah. you You let the money train come to you, Yeah, Jason that's all Alexander. they got to do, yeah. Well, like look. If you were part of one of the biggest shows in the history of television and yeah. you made money and perhaps the career post Seinfeld was not swimming along and you would welcome the opportunity to jump back into that financial opportunity, yeah. mm-hmm. don't you think you'd probably get a little itchy trigger? Don't Jason you think? Alexander and well, everyone except for Michael Richards is doing just fine. Yeah. Jason Alexander is the poor man's Ryan Reynolds. If you see him on the cellular one ads yeah. that he's for the, you know, I, I think it's for, for the elderly. I'm not sure. <laughs> I see him roll is out on cricket? that. I said, that's one of, I was like, that guy's making a paycheck. It's and cricket, Ju- Jerry. I always get this wrong. And I, it's, you know, a local DC Holton Arms grad, Julia Louis Dreyfus. Yes. Did I get that right? Mm-hmm. Uh, she's doing just fine, and I hope she's battling cancer and uh, waging that war at a high level. Well, she's if had I'm not the, mistaken, best, she, the best post She's still career. fighting, right? She's yeah, still fighting she on is, her end. But yes. with Veep, she's had the best post career of any of the cast. Even she Jerry. might be more famous than Jerry right yeah, now. Yeah, well, it's, the people are aging out of the Seinfeld. Well, program, the options they give you are Jason is trying to uh, keep something secret, Jerry is prematurely teasing something, or... The rest of the cast really isn't needed. I I'm looking for a would. Seinfeld prequel. Who would play young Jerry? <laughs> when they were children, played by the original cast. Yes. <laughs> in, in just small, tiny outfits. No, Mike, well, they, they set it up like Dorf on golf. Yeah. <laughs> They're all kneeling down, and they put uh, the shoes on their knees. <laughs> like the late uh, Tim Conway. The did. great yeah. late Tim Conway. Yes. By the way, uh, am I the only one that thinks uh, Wayne Knight Ought to be included in the discussion. Hello, Newman. Yeah, I really he should do. be. But Is you he know in what? heaven? I thought Wayne Knight was in heaven. Uh, no, Wayne no, Knight's he's still with us. us. I believe he's still mm. with us. Uh, Mike, I, 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 and now I have I to give my Wayne Knight. I did that simply please, so I could yeah. go, hello, Jerry. <laughs> All right, uh, what's that, I Rob? think Jerry is probably cooking something up like a special or something that he can do to manufacture money without anyone but himself. Could be a special. Could with, be re- with, with nobody? 
and yeah. just himself. he could host it. Yeah, I mean he's he's not no. above doing something like that. No, I don't think that's. I think he's a scumbag, but but you know he's he's definitely he needs. He, you need the cast if you're going to bring it back. No, no, uh, not if you do like the the clip show where you say the best of Seinfeld. Hi, I'm Jerry, and this was really funny. And then they this run the was clips. a clip that I had. I have the rights to it. That's what they're going to do. Right Wayne now. Knight's still alive. My apologies. Ah, very, very good. good. Uh, okay, moving right along to the Taylor Swift Travis Kelsey romance. Um, incredible boon for the Kansas City Chiefs, which mm-hmm. uh, you know, although they are such a winning team. They've never had the national notoriety that some teams like uh, the Dallas Cowboys, the Green Bay Packers have. Mm-hmm. So they've always craved it. Like any franchise, it yeah, makes the franchise more valuable. When weren't they, they in the first Super Bowl with the Packers? Yeah, Lenny Dawson, I think. Yeah, so in they that, should uh, have. I mean, they should have a richer heritage realized than what they have. Well, They're, it's, you know, in Kansas City. Well, um, so moving uh, into the, uh, the area of the romance, this is funny. This is really, really funny. Brittany Mahomes, Patrick Mahomes' yes. wife, mm-hmm. uh, could lose her spot on the Taylor Swift squad now that some old hate tweets have surfaced. Oh, no. Oh. <laughs> this is funny. Uh, yeah, they're a decade old, but uh, if we've learned anything over the past 10 years, Taylor so does not forget. Back no. in 2012, when she was 17 years old, Brittany Mahomes tweeted this to Taylor. I want to know when you're going to find something different to write about besides boys and relationships. That's strong hate. That you're is writing hate an hate. artist, and yeah. uh, you're doing that. The following year, she posted an angry face emoji. <laughs> oh, no, ass. not a face. With the phrase, Taylor Swift winning everything. So she's a hater. She yeah. hates Taylor Swift. Uh, Brittany has apparently deleted the tweets, but screenshots are circulating all over the place. And Swifties. Are not happy. Ooh. Yeah, you, I hate when the did you think that this was manufactured? One of uh, us did. Yeah, I uh, no. this entire not just this story, but this entire Kelsey Swift. Oh, the whole bromance. Yes. Ah. Did, but no. you all thought it was one of you. One of us did. I would. I, th- um, I thought it might have been. Yeah. Okay. Rob, that, yeah. That's the skeptical yeah. chemist. Yeah. So um, I was on the fence, and then I saw the clip of Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey. Taylor Swift performing. Travis Kelsey is in Buenos Aires, yep, Argentina, all the way she, down to South America on the yeah. bike. Yes, he was at the Stadium Olimpico, I think. As uh, Chris Rock said, uh, "Did you build the Estadio Olimpico?" He put the P on the pedestal, as he should, yeah, for Taylor right. Swift, in my yeah. opinion. So you, you, um, you you bought into it now. I sign off because the lyric that she pulled yes. for her. When she was singing, and she said that that guy, Karma, is the guy on the Chiefs. I was like, "Man, coming this home is to real. me, right? Something this like is that. real, yeah, yeah. Real. I mean, yeah, it's the real deal." And I'm reading stories about moving super fast, and uh, I love it. Who knows, you know? Yeah. But she's finally does not, a real man. But she doesn't have a real a track record, you know. So you tell well, me she's, because she's been, plays- da- she's been dating waif like actors with low T this entire time, and now you've got a guy <laughs> who's going to take care of her. Well, don't you think, though, that the football players have a tendency to, you know, at professional athletes on the road, kind of dangerous yeah, territory? Yeah, but you, if you've got Taylor Swift, I mean, I want, I want to bank that Taylor's, that Travis Kelsey has already, you know, banged uh, 20 to 25 hood rats before he found this girl from the eBay store, which is Taylor Swift. Okay. So he's good to go. <laughs> all right. We'll have to stay tuned and see what's going on. You heard it here first. That. That's yeah, all. I like that. Hood rats. And congratulations and to all those hood rats, Mike. He hey. walks right up to that cancel line, and then he stops right there. Right. Acceptable. Mm-hmm. Hood rats. Hood rats. Uh, a new study at Michigan State found that having pets, this is fascinating to me, does not make us any happier. That's nonsense. Early in the pandemic, May of 2020, researchers talked to over 750 people three separate times to gauge how well they were coping. In general, pet owners said their pets were definitely helping by offering companionship and affection. But they also mentioned the downsides, uh, the downsides rather. Mm -hmm. Things like cost, worrying about their pet's health, uh, how they could be a nuisance while working from home. Tell me about it. Mm -hmm. I think mine, I have two dogs, and I think it's a balance. A balance between loving the affection that I get from one of the pets and just caretaking from Sir Poops a lot that, uh, you know, uh, no, the, I t- well, I taking totally my son disagree. to school and after he's taken out in the morning, leaving feces at the front door, 
10 minutes after I've taken Blindy out for uh, his morning. Well, he literally prefers now. Mm. He can't see at all anymore, and he prefers to poop at the door. Well, he at least outside. he's thoughtful. He's like, hey, I, I can't make it out, but can you take this out for it's me? It's not yeah. just the door, Oscar. It's, it's well, throughout the house. It's like Threshold. putting something at the door that you want to remember to take to work. That way yeah. you can't forget it. You it's know, frustrating. There it uh, is. So the downsides are the you know all the things I mentioned. In the end, the study found it was a wash. People who didn't have pets were just as happy overall. People say that pets make them happy, but when we actually measure happiness, that doesn't appear to be the case. Their theory is people without pets fill their lives with other interests and stuff might make them just as happy as a pet. I Rob, you're know. happier at home with Linus, right? Absolutely. I mean, well, I mean, it doesn't even matter about being at home. Carrie and I went a long time without having a pet. We, and yeah, but, but and, the uh, camaraderie but, with Linus at home when he's absolutely. making peanut butter off your nuts. Is, yeah, is, absolutely, is, is Oscar. Impressive. Yeah, and I just have to remember to turn off the uh, link to the camera. Is it peanut butter or creamy? What what is that? Crunchy or creamy? Oh, it's yes. creamy, and I oh, put honey on it. I'm an idiot. Mm. Honey, very, very yeah, lucky dog. He is and a lucky honey, dog. I'm <laughs> He's staring at me right I'm now. He's well. like, when are you gonna lather up those thighs? He says, uh, I wish this was a bonus show. It'd almost be over. Finally today, <laughs> here it is. I hold it in my hand right here, everybody. How you doing? Thank hey, you. welcome yeah. to the local yes, news. Yes, let's do it. Yeah. Triple uh, A expects 55.4 million people. To travel for Thanksgiving this year, I am not one of them. Uh, That's the third most since 2000 and a 2.3% increase over last year, uh, which was, uh, you know, coming out of the pandemic. Sure. Uh, More than 49 million of those people are going to drive. What? 4.7 million will fly. 1.6 million will get there going some other way. What? Train. Camel. No, electric scooter. Buses or trains. Mike, do you know what they'll say when they get to their destination? What's that? I'm over here now. (laughs) Between two pillows. Those aren't pillows. (laughs) Oh, oh my God. (laughs) That's roughly uh, 2% more cars on the road and 7% more people in the air. So what are the (laughs) the best days? What are the best days to leave town? Uh, I think Wednesday at 5 o'clock. I think that would be ideal, sure. Mm. Uh, Unless you're taking off four or five days early, they all suck. Uh, But next Tuesday and Wednesday are the worst overall. Sunday is the worst day to head home. The fact is, the, 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 the American drone working class... I mean, what choice do they have? You have to come home on Sunday. I like to come home from the beach on the evening of Memorial Day. Well, technically, we don't if you work remote, right? Well, no. I mean, we, what do you mean? If you work remotely, uh, you you're, just, coming, you don't you're still fly. going to Grandma's house and then returning to your home. Yeah. yeah I get, this is the way I would roll if I could work from anywhere in the world, which we have in the past. Yeah. Um, I would fly home on a Tuesday or Wednesday. It's cheaper. Uh, I would work for the Monday and Tuesday from the remote location mm-hmm. and impose on my family, as I always do. Wonderful. That's a great idea. Another, uh, if you're driving, I recommend this. When the kids were wee and small and we used to go to Carrie's mom's house, leave crack of dawn, like 5 a.m. on Thanksgiving morning. Roads are dead. Ooh, uh, and it says it right here. Oh. No matter uh, the day, you might hit less traffic if you leave before 10 a.m. Mm-hmm. No. Where Rob says you want to, you know, you're yeah, in a like traffic area. Four thirty a.m. You're yeah. in the drive-through at uh, Duncan. Yeah, and, uh, so you're, you you yeah. get home, you're having a, you know, you're having a piece of uh, cake, and you're tired. So what? Yeah, Glowworms are in the back sleeping. You're gonna like, we're gonna get there in no time. Yeah, the uh, worst City, time. Baby. This is obvious. Uh, between two and six p.m. the day before Thanksgiving, you hit eleven percent more traffic than normal on the road. That amazing how they can break the data out like that. I think it's cool. Uh, one piece of good news from the report: gas might be a little cheaper this time. The national average last Thanksgiving was three fifty eight. It's currently three thirty five and trending down. There you go. Let's go to the weather center and see what's trending on the highways today. Oh, look at that. It appears on the ten. Somebody's lit a fire under the Whoa, look at those flames. <laughs> oh, good heavens. That's gonna Ruh-roh. wreak havoc with some uh some commute. <laughs> on a lighter note, uh, Brittany <laughs> Bohelm says that uh, Taylor Swift is a whore. Whoa. <laughs> we'll be back with uh, with our our crime knocker no. series. 
Crime knockers. Seven on your side. Crime knockers. <laughs> That's what? right. It's not anything there people fight crime. It's women who have committed very, very <laughs> serious crimes with large breasts. Crime knockers coming up next. You're listening. Let's talk about Chime, shall we? Yes, Chime! Please. Improving your credit score might not be at the top of your to-do list, but uh, low or no credit can jam up your financial dreams. That's where Chime steps in with its secured credit builder Visa credit card. Millions trust it to power up their credit scores, safely boost your score with everyday buys and prompt payments. There's no annual fee, and uh, there's no annual fees. Fees! There's no annual fee. That's fees true. is my name. There are there, no annual fees, and there is no there annual is fee. no annual fee and right. no credit check to begin. Level up Let your me credit get a chime game banner with Matt. Chime. Thank you. Seize your financial future. Do it. Do it now. Start building up your credit right now. Open a Chime checking account with at least a two hundred dollar qualifying direct deposit to get started. Get started at chime.com slash tmos. That's chime.com slash tmos. The Chime Credit Builder Visa credit card is issued by Stride Bank NA member FDIC. Chime checking account at two hundred dollar qualifying direct deposit required to apply. Out of network ATM withdrawal fees may apply. On time payment history may have a positive impact on your credit score. Late payment may cause a negative impact on your credit score. Results may vary. Uh, thank you. <laughs> uh, so the story goes like this, mm. ladies and gentlemen. Mm. There is a Secret Service protection, yes. not just for the president, the vice president, secretary of state, all these people, uh, but there is Secret Service pr- protection here. for relatives of yes, the president. Yes, the family. The family including yeah. the president's uh, lovely granddaughter. And the story in the news was that someone, uh, as they were coming from uh, perhaps a uh, restaurant at night, uh, the Secret Service was uh, escorting the president's granddaughter, observed uh, someone attempting to break into the special Secret Service vehicle, and Mm -hmm. shots were fired. And Oscar seems to know something about this, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. Well, uh, fellas, I've been banging the drum here about uh, the overall rise in crime, violent crimes here in the D.C. area, up forty four percent. Are the people in your neighborhood up forty four percent year over year? Murders are up thirty two percent. Violent crime, forty four, and then I think was car thefts are eighty six percent. They're up. Mm-hmm. And Did you say 86%? 86%. In D.C. or nationwide? In D.C. That seems In like DC. a lot. Yeah. So when I hear Georgetown, the leafy, affluent neighborhood that I happen to be blessed to live in, in the smallest house on the block, and by, by block I mean the entire neighborhood, with a radiator that barely kicked in last night, that... I don't, and and look, th- let me take a beat here, and I know that there are socioeconomic factors that play when people that feel like they have nothing to live for are willing to take risks like this. So take that and put it to the side for two seconds. The idea that you would, in such a heavily trafficked neighborhood of police and secret service, that is very evident, would try to steal something from not just Matt Bloom, but the First Lady's family <laughs> yeah. is crazy. It is crazy. Yeah. It's absolutely crazy. It's and nuts. I don't mean I don't mean that because it's like, oh, I can't believe this is happening in our neighborhood. I mean that because like we just had a 13 year old like shot and killed because they tried to carjack somebody on Capitol Hill right. that happened to be uh on a, like an off duty police officer. Yeah. It's it nuts. is Absolutely, so, so much so that the, the the DCPD and I know. Look, we have a national audience, and crime is up everywhere. Everywhere, they are giving away air tags, Mike, to residents of Capitol Hill and three other neighborhoods, like yeah. Apple Air Tags, to put in their car just in case their car gets stolen. It's amazing. It's amazing. isn't that wild? It's just uh, it's nuts and. Like you've got meth heads in Florida, they're everywhere. That's what I heard. Um, Thank but you. we, but we have our crime is violent. At least your guys are on bicycles. Yeah, you know, it's uh, it's the 
economic uh, situation people are in, but yeah, it's also, it. you know, there are a variety of factors uh, going on. I think it, a lot of the, the reason for all of this might be the separation between the haves and the have-nots. I think that's ultimate, and that's it's probably socioeconomic yeah. as well. Yeah. Uh, but, yeah, it's a hopelessness that results in brazen crime. It's really the what guy. It, the guy you know? fired his fire. I mean, the Secret Service shots is now off were duty. fired. Yeah, he he he. It, it it just and I'm not saying oh my god, it happened. someone got stabbed in Georgetown during the pandemic. I get the bus stop in the corner of my street. I get the vi- the random acts of violence, but this it's it's not because it's Biden's family. I'm telling you, this has been happening for a while. And I've been beating the drum. It's eerie and it's weird. The weirdest it's thing about weird. it, Mike, is that uh, Joe Biden's granddaughter is seventy-two years old. <laughs> there we go. Her name's Estelle. Yeah. Estelle. Are you listening? Estelle. Hey, Estelle. <laughs> Do you, I mean, when they talk about it up in D.C. and in other cities around the country, is there yeah. any this reminds me. any hope at all of of fixing? I mean, well, they don't. I don't well, know. They are handing out the air tags. Well, the mayor, the, the remember this threshold of crime and what's considered a felony was lowered at one point. Mm-hmm. The, mm-hmm. the mayor in D.C. just just jacked that up. Like if you like if you steal certain assets, certain um, certain products from stores, then that becomes a felony. I don't. The laws have not been translated. Muriel appropriately. Bowser. And then the other side is this: is you know I look at this from a business owner's perspective. You should as well. Like all of us here, in fact, where you're sitting here, you're like. You're asking me to break off twenty five to thirty five k a month, and this is happening. Mm-hmm. This is crazy. Yeah, yeah. it's nuts. It, yeah. It's nuts. I, I, I you know, uh, that you're saying that the guy that uh, discharged his weapon was put on leave because he fired at a guy that was not firing at him. Right? No, I uh, think that's just pro- it's just protocol, right? It's okay. protocol. But I mean, it's, it's it, protocol. It, it's not legit. If they see somebody trying to. Break into a car. Is that what it was? They were trying to break into yeah, a car? Yeah, they were breaking into an unmarked Secret Service Secret car. Secret Service and car, they yeah. fired at him. Uh, I guess the protocol for Secret Service protection is a little different than the average rules for a cop. Because well, if you also, see somebody I think unarmed the, that's breaking into a car, I don't think you're allowed I to also think turn him into Swiss cheese. I, maybe I've watched too much Homeland or mm-hmm. the Americans. Right. Mm-hmm. I'm like, it's the Ruskies. How dare you, Mr. President? What? I think they're bugging the car. Like it, they look like criminals, but well, they're not criminals. They like, might be, I, I they might thinking be doing of other things. something yeah. more nefarious. Who than just knows? To jack the Oscar, car. you or, know that all the Russian spies are shacked up on Wisconsin Avenue in those unmarked buildings. That's where they are. So they can just <laughs> pop out, put in the bug, and off they go. That's easy. That's where they just, all live. Or, or, or it's just like Homeland Terror. You're like, this is crazy. Well, yeah. it just, I really you feel like know. that, Teddy, because I can go on breaking you up all night long. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> He beat me. <laughs> Straight up. Pay him. Pay it mean his money. <laughs> I don't know why I quoted around. I do remember yet. walking up Wisconsin Avenue. We were going somewhere. And yeah, there are yeah, all yeah. these unmarked buildings in Oscar would go. Um, Dry cleaner, hideout, hideout, restaurant, say yeah. hideout, hideout, takeout. Yeah, that was You can a- make you can't make I don't think you can make enough money off T V and cabinet building, <laughs> custom T V and cabinet building, where the cor- like a corner shop in the middle of Georgetown right. is just has blacked out windows that screams government office. Yes. <laughs> steel steel enforced windows. Look yes. at that keypad. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, retinal scan. It's for a handprint. Oh. Oh, yeah. so People were, really want their superhero dry cleaner. movie ahead of me. The, the retinal scan, which is just yeah. that—that's the ultimate one. Beep, 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 beep. I'm here for a Toshiba. <laughs> Get out, Mr. Bob. Nice to see you here. We got to take a break. Yes. Uh, when we come back, ladies and gentlemen, I want to talk uh, to the boys about uh, two things: uh, my hair, and mm. uh, I want to talk about another crime that's going on in D.C. Ooh. It's uh, missing toilet paper. Yes, that's what you get when you join us at the Mike O'Mara Show. We'll be right back. You can relive cherished memories and preserve them with Legacy Box. We love it. Safely digitize your family's precious moments. It's so easy. Visit LegacyBox.com slash TMOS for an exclusive 40% discount. They handle over 15 types of analog media, including 
VHS tapes, Super 8 millimeter film reels, and photo negatives. As the world's largest digitizer with a decade of experience, Legacy Box has helped over a million families relive special moments, from weddings to Christmases to beach trips to school plays, and of course, Canadian National Wear Your Pearls Day, <laughs> which falls on December 15th. Get those necklaces ready, ladies. Yes. Uh, ladies. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS to save 40%. Buy today. Send it in when you're ready. Go to LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. LegacyBox.com slash TMOS. And we thank you, Legacy Box. All right, yeah. Haircut day today. And uh, always Oscar, like it to. looks great. <laughs> it's wonderful. TMOS. TMOS. <laughs> Uh, that's what my that's stepmom right. Kathy calls the show. T Moss. Uh, so I, I, I'm getting the haircut. I said, What do you think? And this is the quote from uh, the woman who loves me, at least says she loves me. Yes. I wrote it down. Uh, she says, There is nothing I can do to look good. Maybe oh. extend. Ouch. Really? Yeah. But that's pain. Was she just kidding? I don't know. Was uh, there any, any mirth in her voice? Not really. It was no. really, she was doing her work. You know. Well, maybe you were bitching about like your sideburns, and she was like, "I got to go break my back to feed this family." Now, I think that I've contributed over the years a significant amount, Oscar. I really, really do. Yes. You know? Look at the look at the, the man that controls Oscar. my world also puts my world down. That is very frustrating to me. Yes, I'm doing the best I can, Oscar. Perhaps I could do better. You know, perhaps I could. Uh, by the way, 65th birthday coming up in June. I'm right. doing the best I can at my advanced age for the love I think of God. As I like to tell my beautiful wife, and again, write the hate mail, I said, let's compare receipts. Let's compare receipts. Mike, I think your hair is at a high point right now yeah. for you. Well, you at can't. Least we have. Yeah, go ahead. You can't fight any recession, and the straight back, I well, think, looks great. You mean like the economy or his hairline? Oscar, don't get involved. I'm sorry. It's, Are you seeing think, Rob okay up there, by the way? Are you seeing Rob okay? Yeah, the world will seem okay. Okay, yeah. good. Just yes. checking. All right, but I think good. if you get it tidied up, I think your hair is great right now. Well, at least I have plenty of toilet Mine paper, isn't. unlike D.C., where they're stealing that, too. I where are they know. stealing it from? Rob, Drug do you know stores. about this story? Yeah, I saw it on the news yesterday. I think it's at a CVS. There is so much toilet paper thievery that now they are putting pictures of the toilet paper up on the shelves so you can point to it and say, I want that, and then they'll get it out of the back room. I think if you're buying your toilet paper at a drugstore, you got a Klingon problem. Well, the Mike, it's different. It's different in the city. You buy your toilet paper at the drugstore? If we're running low, that's the CVS is right there. Okay, yeah, it's different in the it. city, and he doesn't yeah. have a convenient Costco where you can buy toilet paper for a year. Yeah, I buy. We buy bulk. Robin, yeah, I buy, we do uh, too. We do too. Paper. We had to buy it because we got kids coming home. Although bulk I'll be honest, also, with you, I'm toilet paper challenged because uh, <laughs> with my clear ear, which yes. by the way is still going strong, I do not use the same amount as the rest of the home. One and square, uh, right? One so, square uh, procession? No, not. Well, one you just square. dab now. Probably five, five folded. Yeah. yeah. I yeah, thought you were a crumbler. Crumpler. No, I'm not a crumpler. I used to be a crinkler. I'm a folder now. I'm a crumpler. Yeah. Oscar? I just wedge it in there and leave it there. All D. Oh. All D. <laughs> well, he's buying the cheap stuff. Oh. It took a bloody just nose. Dissolves. Yeah, yeah. And then I'll, are you I'll brand, see you later. Are you brand sensitive, Oscar, when you get of your Of course. Uh, I'm a Charmin guy. Charmin? Okay. Oh. Anytime my mom. Oh, God. She's I'm a Cottonelle person. Kirkland. Am I? Uh, Cottonelle. Oh, you're better than Cottonelle. Cottonelle Extra Clean, probably the finest product known to mankind. I think. Is it, which is one Charmin has the with bears? the little teddy bear? Yeah, Charmin. No, yeah, two ply. Charmin is, uh, irritates my uh, Duke. No. It does. It does. I the, use coffee the Duke filters. Duke must not in, be irritated. Hold on, I heard coffee filters. I used coffee filters in college <laughs> at one point. I remember that was a rough summer. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah. In, in college was bad. I used to sit yeah. on the carpet yeah. and drag my ass. <laughs> coffee filters were bad especially when you reuse them you know? what is that Colombian? boy is that <laughs> did you grind that yourself i'm yes, not kidding I did. like that's not a that's not even a joke i i there was a, it was a lean summer jesus oscar and my roommates were 
in Jersey and, and uh, you know, they were Hoboken all females. Respect. Yeah, they're all females. And they they pretended to be adults. So they had like a rack of coffee filters. And I was like, well, I could walk down to the Sunnyside Super Ed and buy this toilet paper. This is not paper. financial need as much as lazy. Lazy. Convenience. Yes. Yeah. So I said, well, how these we shouldn't these we shouldn't let these go to waste. They've just been sitting here for four months. Yeah, but you can't. Nobody f- drinks coffee. You can't flush them. This is a big question. Did you yeah. use them more than once? Mike, it was a summer of coffee filters. You did. You use them regularly. I'm not proud of this. Did I was you bring 20? multiple coffee filters into the into your bathroom? Okay, picture a <laughs> uh, uh, picture a subterranean apartment slash basement in a home that was built and and rented by the Hatfields. I kid you not. My check went to Mrs. Hatfield, and. I would walk down there. It looked nothing like the nice part of the house upstairs. Right. And I'd have uh, my own bathroom. And on top of it, for some time, was like two rolls of toilet paper. And that summer, I had two stacks of coffee filters. And I rolled through those. Did the girls come back after the summer and comment on the lack of coffee filters? Yes. Because this is when they decided to make coffee all of a sudden instead of going to Starbucks as they usually Hold do. Hold on, emergency call coming in, yes. gentlemen. Uh, Who's Mrs. O'Mara from? is on the phone. Oh. Hello. Hey, Spy report. Spy yet? report. No, I'm not done with the show yet. We're taping the show. Why? Really? Oh. I bet oh, well, we, can be, we can beep this out. You can talk to her now. Yeah, it you could be coffee. No, no, yeah. it might be secret information. What? You're talking. Just I'm mute sorry, yourself. You don't, you don't for hear God the sakes. guys. Uh, Just mute yourself. All right. Is it uh, okay? Is Mute it yourself. something I can get right after the show? Shut up. Is it something yeah, I can get right after the show? They can keep talking. Yeah, call yes. me after the show. Okay, bye. Mm. There she goes. I don't know how you can cliffhanger your way through the show. I'd want to know. Yeah. I, I, I know what it is. What is it? None of your business. None your business. Oscar. None your. None your. None your who? Yeah. None your business. I'll give you a hint. Okay. You Rel- made it our business related Mr. to Han. the business we've been discussing today. Didn't you? Oh, okay. you, you made it our business, Mr. Han, by answering the phone while well, you never our know. time. I just our wish time. I, I, at, our at time. a certain point, correct me if I'm wrong, Oscar, we're going to be able to, she's going to know that we're on the air. Correct? Mm-hmm. Right? Is that going to happen? Maybe. Yeah. If she buys a subscription. And also, Mike, at a certain point, she could Feeling look at Feeling confident today. What? Mike, at a certain point, she could know if we're doing the show by looking at a clock. This is true. Yeah, I mean. This is absolutely true. <laughs> yes. So, anyway, no no word on why. They're, they're, it, just because people steal it. I can tell right? you why. Yeah. Okay. yeah. It actually goes back to that breakdown of you know, the thievery and the crime in any major city. Because toilet paper and razors and deodorant are all resellable on Amazon oh, and yeah. eBay, and they're wow. they're they're hard to track. They hard should track. put air tags on the toilet paper. Has an organized quality to it, right? Yes. I mean, it yes. really that's does what they're called. They're talking about organized, mm-hmm. full crime ring. Right. If you if you if you don't pay for the goods and you sell them, it's all profit. Pure profit, especially if you get them on shipping. That's. A- Get them on shipping. There you Always go. get them on shipping, Mike. Yeah. One of the, one of these days, I'll show you my fake Rolex watch that arrived. <laughs> Yo, you got one from RU. Dot RU. Uh, didn't get a. It's I don't a think, Rolex. I don't know if I went a, a, a Rolex. In Russia, R-A-L-L-E-X. Rolex tell you. <laughs> Works great. I bet. Is it quality though? Is there a no, heft to it? It's, it's garbage. Does oh, it rattle? No. <laughs> it's it's go- it's such garbage. It's such. I picked it up. It was the, it's like the weight of a paper clip. I don't want to put everybody's business out there, but I was thinking of you. I was in the meeting, and Shannon, because she's just Shannon, and in a sweet way, she says, is that a Rolex to this gentleman that's... Uh... Uh-oh. And I'm like, oh, this is so embarrassing. So, in my, under my breath, right? I'm like, don't, to ask, don't, don't point out the guy's nice watch. And, she's, and he's like, she goes, I noticed that earlier. And, I, you know, she's basically like guffawing over it. Or not guffawing. What's a good word? She's swaddling it. Fawning, yeah. And and he's like, yeah, like this was a present from uh, my father-in-law um, p- uh, when we got married. Oh. And then and Imagine and then that. he's like, and then he's like, yeah, then he says, casually, he goes, and this is actually my second one because my wife, um, my wife actually bought me one for our anniversary. Pre- I like was sitting there and like, I was just like in awe. I was like, this is a different world, different world, different world, different world, different world. Yeah. They're out. I there. don't need a Rolex. I just want the thought that would cross yeah, someone's mind. 
Yeah. You know? To buy something nice like that. Man, I'm praying. Can you imagine? I'm what would you do? That. I'm praying for What that. would you do? I'd cry. I would cry <laughs> like an infant. I would sob uncontrollably. Mm-hmm. I would sob like an infant. Somebody isolate this. If my wife bought me a nice watch, I would sob like a little baby. And mm-hmm. I don't care if she hears you, it. You do love me. Yeah. You really you love do me. love me. Mm-hmm. Now, my wife, my, 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 whoa, my ex-girlfriend Careful. bought me a watch that was very nice. But Is that it was the, uh, the Breitling? The Breitling. She mm-hmm. bought that for you? Well, but she was also having an illicit affair with the WWE superstar. Yeah. So I think that was that was I paid for that watch. Trade. Yeah. Do yeah. 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 you think I, maybe I, he chipped yes. in a little bit? Yeah. I mean, he might have been like, "Hey, I, you know, maybe get something nice for that DJ." Buy a Breitling, brother. I've been treating get a your really nice private watch. parts you won't like, even care. like an <laughs> like an amusement park. So here's a here's a parting gift. A lovely parting gift. <laughs> well, we can all hope. He did me a favor. I'm better, better place. Absolutely. Now, my 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 current wife, mm-hmm. my wife, has not bought me anything. Yeah, just for the record. Yeah, uh, but she also isn't having an illicit affair with the WWE superstar. My uh, wife contacted my daughter. Flew him in for my 60th birthday. That yeah. was a good present. Yeah, yeah for but my don't anniversary, you see them every year? my wife got me a compact yeah. disc. Yeah, thank you. They're very exciting. No. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we have to take a break. I'm depressed yes. now. Uh, we'll take a break, and uh, when hey, we hey, Mike, come back... are you still doing the show? Yeah. <laughs> still doing the show. Thank you. Thanks, honey. And honey, I miss you. And I'm doing well. Oh God damn it! I'm messing up my computer now. Uh, hold on. Let me see if I can get it. Right. TMS store is next, Mike. Yes. Yeah. It's that Rolex. Yeah. Three. This X's. portion of the Mike O'Mara show brought to you by yeah. Rolex. Rolex timepieces, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I can't beat them. That's it. Now we'll move on to our next. Uh, would you, would you recommend a Daytona or a? What, that's a Rolex, right? Yeah, Daytona. Yeah. yeah. And then uh, what is it? A Yachtmaster. Yachtmaster. I think everybody poop. Does poop? Does everybody sea poop? Sea dweller. Yachtmaster. Sea, sea dweller. dweller. Presidential. Is there a diver one? A president. A diver? Deep sea diver. Yeah. They're all divers. Submariner. What's the steel one that everybody talks about? Uh, this is your entry level Submariner. Rolex. Submariner. That's a great watch. Real, like, Rolex, Rolex watch. Got the face of uh, J- uh, Sean Connery. All steel or a solid precious metal, much more popular. Two-tone out of favor right now, currently. Huh? So a two-toner. Two-tone is, is uh, gold, gold and, and stainless steel. Oh, God. And Tommy Two-Tone released uh, 8675309. Right. Great record. Hey, great if record. you want to get yourself a nice Rolex, go to the TMOS store. It's time <laughs> to visit the exclusive source for official TMOS merchandise and fine timepieces. The Mike O'Mara Show online store. From legacy t-shirts and cozy hoodies to morning transforming coffee mugs, it is your one-stop shop to flaunt your TMOS passion. And if you're looking for holiday gifts, even better for the TMOS fan and watch enthusiast in your life, there's no better place to shop than TMOSstore.com. Even if you're just giving a gift to yourself. Yourself. We've got your back. We hand select everything for top tier quality and killer looks. And nothing looks better on your wrist than a beautiful new luxury Mm. watch. Grab your TMOS gear and support the show you'll love. The support the show you love. Every purchase (laughs) keeps the laughs coming. Check out our new Don't Get Happy Society limited edition sticker. I love this sticker. Uh, you got to get it before it's gone because it is limited edition. TMOSstore.com. Almost out. The source for all things TMOS. Official, authentic, and awesome. Thank love you it. for your support. It's all happening at TMOSstore.com. Yeah. There it is. The flip side. Let's face it, ever since the pandemic and even before, air travel has become a nightmare, no? Oh, and, and it's coming up on the worst time of year for worst it. Worst time of year horrible. for it. And I think one of the worst things you can encounter is someone who's just not playing by the rules. Everyone's miserable, so please play by the rules. This was on a flight recently where a lady, her name is Bobby Storm, uh, just found out before she boarded the Bobby airplane. Bobby Storm is she a porn star or something? Mike, she's a gospel no, she's a singer, w- weathercaster. No, <laughs> that's better. <laughs> but Bobby she's a, Storm. She's a gospel singer. She oh, found I'm out. Terribly right be- sorry. Well, then that's going to be offensive to her if I. How say dare it. you? No, no. We, we we what we're doing is we're right. Slow down. We'll get to it. All right. Yeah, I just don't want to offend anybody. That's what I don't want to do. All right, you're fine. Yeah, I think yeah. it's okay. You're good. Very good. So. 
she found out right before she boarded the plane that she won two. She was uh, nominated for two Grammy awards. She's very excited. Mm, cool. And she wanted to share this news with everybody and put this video up on social media. However, everyone is telling her that she's not being right. And as a matter of fact, she's not being she, right. What do you? Yes, yeah, she's not. Her behavior is not right. Oh. As a matter of fact, what she's doing is absolutely wrong. And ego driven, but for the people on the flight, what we have here is a nightmare in the sky. Watch me bless him. So I used to sing on planes a long time ago. I just found out I'm up for two Grammys. My very first time, you guys. My name is Bobby Storm, and I'm up for two Grammys. I sing for the Lord, and my song is out on all platforms. She's it's just in her seat. Can't forget him. Michael McDonald cleared it. Warren G is on the original record as well. It's with regulators. I want to share this with you guys. I wanted to do it when I first got on the plane, but I was like, you know, I, I haven't done this in a while. I've gotten to the next status, so. Are you able to be quiet? But they're enjoying Flight it. Attended. So while we're sitting here, could I please? I'm not enjoying it. So I'm asking you, can you be quiet? Okay, well, that's I find yes, that up. That's a yes or no uh, answer, please. Am I going to go to jail if I don't? Can you please answer my question? Are you willing and able to be quiet right now? I'm doing what the Lord is telling me to do. I'm asking you a question, yes or no. I'm your flight leader. I need you to follow my instruction. Okay. My instruction for you to answer my question. Are you able to be quiet? What right do you now? guys think? I'm asking you, ma'am. I'm asking you guys. What do you guys no think? No one says a thing. If you're not able to, be, to follow my instruction, yeah. you will not be taking this flight. Ah, uh, okay. Are so you that's able to be asking. quiet? If that's the case, then that's fine. If you were the so person that's yes. in charge of it all. I'm your flight leader, yes. If you're the person in charge okay. of it all, then that's okay. fine. Okay, all right. Thank all right. you. And then she went on to sing her song quietly anyway. I don't know. Oh, I know. I know, absolutely. You sit down, you follow instructions, and no, if no, it's a South... No, no, I agree completely. If it's a Southwest flight... You know, let the wackadoos get on the horn after the fact. If you're up and running, get let's get moving Wait first. Wait a minute. Wait a minute, though. Do You don't... Do you... And I'm not talking about the overall concept of telling her to be quiet. That right. I'm fine with that. What I'm not fine... Do you not think he was a tad over the top with the confrontation? That's my question. I th okay, so... Let's put ourselves in. The, the, I know it is, it, this is actually a compelling tape because you're, mm -hmm. you're talking about a person of color. Yep. You're talking about a gospel singer. Yes. Right. We got religion Two involved. Two people of color talking. The, the flight leader is a person of color as well. Yes, correct. Right. So, but I'm just, I'm saying this is why it's such a difficult subject because you're like, well, you know, this is a big deal. I don't know. And I've never felt the a compelled to ever sit in a flight and hold court with the entire plane, let alone the people in my row. Yeah. So that's one. Two, we've all known since 9-11, you don't F around or you find out. Yeah, you, you follow the rules. You got to. You follow the rules, and these poor people, including so that, that gentleman answer, that came in saying, hot, you think that came in hot, the guy was, he probably has to deal with so much BS. So you're, you're saying you understand I'm this. on that, ge that gentleman, the flight leader side. Okay. It doesn't Me matter. You got to follow the rules. Do you think There's he so many souls the on that situation plane. better if, he d if he's less confrontational? I think he. I does. think that we probably haven't seen the entire tape. Right. Yeah, there, this is her. This is just from her yeah, perspective. It might be just as. And maybe he was like, "Hey, on. like, we're about, uh, can you?" It's like the same BS when you when you sit next to someone like, "Hey, do you mind putting that tablet away? Yep. Do you mind putting that tablet away?" Yeah, like the fifth time, they're like, "You got to put it away. Or we can't take off." Yeah, right. When, yeah. It, well, she was completely wrong with her reaction. I'm just yeah. wondering. And the thing that uh, is yeah. so uncomfortable yeah. to me is when she tried to like get a mob mentality. Hey, do you guys want to hear me sing? And no one said anything. And then she puts it up on social media, yeah. expecting to be backed up in her, her behavior. I didn't tell and you that last year her. on uh, my flight to New Orleans, I, uh, I stopped everybody in the middle. And as they were getting on the plane, I was showing them my plaque <laughs> yeah. from my own one. As you always travel with it, right? Right. And I said, and by the way, the Lord put this in the hole. <laughs> Praise him. Praise him. All right, let's it, close. It, but it is an awkward situation. Oh I, just, my yeah, God, I can never terrible. conceive that. And yeah, by I the way, the, and yeah. one more thing about her. It's fine. I, said, I just got nominated for two Grammys. Sorry I was so loud. <laughs> Sits back down. That's Very it. Very cool. Yeah. yeah. Even she that I would have Tell been, the world. No, That's no. cool. She wants yeah, to I'll do a lecture that. about it. You know. Yeah. All right, let's close with this. This is our final tape, Mac. Um, 
I was at Target this weekend, and I noticed a lot of Christmas decorations. Yeah, and a, something that's very popular is sort of a modified-looking Christmas tree. They simplify the Christmas tree to a solid-looking sort of one unit. It's not detailed. It suggests a Christmas tree. Mm. Well, there was a doctor in Target. He noticed all of these, and he did a public service announcement making sure you do you use these decorating items in the correct way. So what we have here are Christmas decorating tips and no buts about it. So Target already has some of their Christmas decorations out, and I feel like I should stop for a moment as a doctor and give a small PSA. Do not put this where it doesn't belong. Do not put this where it doesn't belong. While we're at it, don't put this where it doesn't belong. And this, don't put this where it doesn't belong. Do me a favor and don't put this where it doesn't belong. Or this, or even this little one. I don't care that this is ribbed. Do not put this where it doesn't belong. Not this, not this. Don't even think about it. Definitely not, you'll get a splinter. I just know, you'll get a splinter. Anyways, happy holidays, stay safe out there. Don't put things where they don't belong, please, please. There are things that belong there, not those. <laughs> I Thank you, know, doctor. But I, I will never it. look at Christmas decor the same way again. Wow. That was fantastic. <laughs> uh, we got to get out of here. We'll be back with a brand new episode. TMOS store open right now. Yes. Yes. Get your hoodies, get your T-shirts, get your coffee mugs. They're fantastic. And the stickers look great, everybody. TMOSstore.com. Check it out. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with a brand new episode for Rob Spiewak and Oscar Santana. Mike O'Mara saying so long, everybody. Bye-bye. Ciao, ciao. Want more? Make sure you check out the Michael Mara Bonus Show. Get it at michaelmarashow.com. Michael Mara, Radio Entertainment. Uh, I think that I am familiar with the fact that you are going to ignore this particular problem until it swims up and bites you on the ass. I'll recommend your services to anyone I know who has diabetes. 